know, like for me, if I didn't trust anyone in, in the swimming world, then I wouldn't be stood here today as an Olympic swimmer. It was obviously having to trust my coaches, having to trust, you know, my sports scientists, my massage therapist, my physiotherapist. You know, I had a whole team of people that would support me. My first coach that I was with for nearly 10 years, you know, I, I left home at the age of 16. You know, I left my parents and, you know, I, they, they, they also put the trust in this, you know, in this, in this man that they, you know, sort of met a, a few times. And, you know, because of the work that he'd done already and the results that he'd produced already, you know, I think it's, it's quite simple, really. Um, if the trust is there, you'll get your results. Being trustworthy and transparent is all about being trusted. And when we seek out businesses we want to work with and work for, we want to feel that we're being trusted and trust those around us. What's happening now is that younger people are coming into our industry and other industries, and they have a different way of approaching work. But then that's, that's, that's what the industry is about. It's getting people to reinvent themselves and getting them to rethink about foods, getting them to, to, to understand what's actually happening now and what's turning people on. I can't turn around to you and say, I can tell you what the next trend is gonna, that's going to hit the high street, but I can say, if you look at this whole area of how we're looking at wine, how we're looking at coffee, and how we're looking at food, it is changing.